that ponytail too much. Um, hello, my sweet, sweet friends. Welcome back to the channel. It is the beginning. I don't know if this is gonna be the opening clip. We're gonna say you're getting ahead of yourself. Um, but we're gonna say that this is the opening, the show starter. But this is the beginning of the moving vlogs, and I'm moving, and I haven't even like officially talked about it in a video because I've had all this footage, and I even still have a vlog to upload before I upload. Ew, if I burped on camera, I would not be able to handle it while edit editing, so we are not going to do that. Funny story, I cannot stand burping. My friend Nikki, love her to death. We have been best friends for, I don't even know how long now. We literally figured out, it's like almost 10 years at this point, which is like mind blowing. And, oh my God, oh my God. Ooh, um, she burps all the time and I wanna pop her in the mouth like a mother every time. Like, you know, like when your mom used to like pop you in the mouth, you'd always be like, ooh, caught me off guard, Linda. But, um, <laughs> their name was not Linda. Um, but it is the beginning of the movie vlogs. Oh, I already know the ADD comments are coming. Um, and I'm so excited. I need to paint my nails. I have nail polish in my purse. You're also on my old camera, not the new camera I've been using. A starts. So as of now, how long have we been talking? Two minutes? It's still the beginning. <laughs> um, I want us all, yeah, you watching, right now to think of something you're grateful for, like three things you're grateful for. Oh my God. Number one thing I'm grateful for, the amount of animals that I get to see on this drive to LA, like goats, cows. I saw some baby calves. Those were little baby lambs. Like, uh, it just makes my heart so happy. And these are ones like literally roaming around, living their best lives, not like on this side of the road when you're driving to LA and it's like, oh, you're all going to slaughter and you like cry. Um, I mean, TBH, like that's probably your free range beef. So I don't know, that's just not free range on this side. That was so dark, I'm so sorry. But, so three things that we're grateful for, if you wanna show them in the comments, that's great. And like, just read all exciting things and like raise our vibration right now. Oh my God, more goats. Like, how do I get in there? And yellow flowers. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys! There's just like a pack! A pack of goats! Fuck, I want to be part of the pack. But, so three things we're grateful for. My number one, seeing all the animals. Honestly, those goats could be number two, but I won't do that. Number two, my Land Rover appointment this morning went so smoothly, which my appointments at Land Rover never go smoothly it was so quick my car got serviced everything was great it was all paid for didn't have to pay a cent it was beautiful number three um uh, what's number three i had number three in my head because i was like i should <laughs> i'm in a really good mood i'm just gonna be grateful for being in a good mood also i'm in a good mood with driving down to la for my move my movers come tomorrow and know if I'm gonna be able to get into my apartment tonight because they it's a whole long story but like I'm just not letting that affect my mood I'm literally like no it's gonna happen it's gonna be fine I was supposed to move in on the first it keeps getting pushed back but you know here we are and we're gonna be happy about it and it's fine it's fine like who cares yeah take it all in so right now take a deep breath think of three things that you're grateful oh, my sweet sweet friends I look like a hot mess. It's my 25th birthday. I'm hungover. And my movers are coming. And yeah. I literally am so tired. I have such a bad headache. And I look hungover. Great. I'm actually very anxious right now. I just like, you know like when something's gonna happen and you're just waiting for like, you know? The waiting is what I like, I don't like. And there's like other people moving. So like there's just people and Deep breath. So I just got back from Target and obviously I had to pick, oh my God, I need to paint my nails so bad. I picked up a shower curtain from this new Opal House collection. Sarah was so excited about this collection. And then to hear that she was so disappointed, I had to go see it for myself because I love Sarah's style and I feel like we have very similar styles. So 
at least they did something right with the shower curtain. And then I got a few just little hooks. And this I totally blanked and did not blanked and did not bring an actual shower curtain with me because I came early. Um, I didn't know I was coming early. Very long story about that. Uh, Mercury retrograde, real. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I had to pick up a shower curtain. I am just super excited and I'm just so happy. I picked up a few other things. So I picked up this little wood carbon bowl to put on my dining table when I get it. Um, I, I have a few picked out and I don't know which one exactly I'm going to get yet, but I have a good idea of what I want it to look like. Um, I've never had an apartment with this type of floor plan and I'm so excited because you guys always tell me that all my apart apartments look the same and I do have a certain kind of like style and like vibe that I like, but I've never had an open floor plan and I've never had, um, I guess it would be an open floor plan, like the kitchen all against one wall. Like I've always had like an island or something separating it or something like that. So I'm really excited. It's a little more challenging for how I normally style things, but I know that I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna make it so beautiful. It's gonna be great. And then I also got this wall mirror with shelf. So I got that to put by the door and then I wanna put this crystal on it that I just picked up really big quartz cluster it's like a really earthy looking one um i have all my small plants those aren't all of them where are we getting those are all my plants the small ones the big ones had to go on the moving truck um so yeah i have a video that i need to put up for you guys oh my god it is so echoey in here i'm so sorry my stuff comes tomorrow on my birthday so we'll have it all done then also yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm supposed to meet up with my friend Lena today and do a little girls lunch, a little happy hour sort of thing. So we will see what today brings. I haven't been vlogging the past few day, two days that I've been here and I'm really sorry about that. Um, the day driving down here, um, I don't know if I would have explained it in the intro. Maybe I won't, I'll just explain it now. But the day coming down here, I was told I could get my keys. Today is April 6th. My lease started on April 1st. They kept moving back the date and essentially we were supposed to move in the first, then the third, then the fourth, and then finally I was able to move in on the fifth. I came down on the third. And so of course I was freaking out because like, obviously you can get an Airbnb, you can get a hotel, you can stay with a friend, but like the stress of like having to like, I know, this is such a problem of mine. Uh, my friend and I were talking about this. Like, it's such a block for me to always feel like a bother and always feel like I am just like, I always worry that I'm just bothering people, like being around that. Ugh. Blocks to work through, man. So, I just hate trying, I hate feeling like I bombard people even though that's not really how it is. So you could always do that, but it was very stressful when it's like, I have an apartment that I've already paid for, that I have all like this stuff going on, and then my movers were supposed to come yesterday, but then obviously they told me I wasn't moving in, so then I had to cancel my movers and like cancel all this sort of stuff, like all the moving truck, the movers, all that, and then to that day be like, yeah, you can move in, and I'm like, so I've been sleeping on my camping air mattress, my single one. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're doing. Um, luckily now we have all our stuff is coming. Everything's going great. It's gonna be great. I'm making some lunch right now. I also don't have any pots or pans, so I had to buy one of those Amy's, like um, what's the one I like, the gluten, the rice crust with the dairy-free cheese. It's a go-to. I'm also super excited that my kitchen has like this flat top. How convenient is that? I'm really into that. I'll be totally honest that I, this is the only apart apartment that I have not been impulsive on. This is the only move I have never been impulsive on. But I will say, I may have not even looked at the kitchen when I did a tour of the apartment. I literally just like walked through because they were like doing construction and I didn't even notice that they have a flat top. I didn't even notice they don't have a disposal, but um, in both those San Francisco apartments, there was no garbage disposal, so. Luckily, used to that life, no biggie. Um, I also have to call them because the heater is not working, but no biggie. Washer, dryer. Honestly, the biggest thing for me in apartments is lighting, parking, the kitchen, like the look of it, because I like cooking, and washer, dryer, and then obviously like if it's pet friendly, which the dogs are on their way. <laughs> well, we're, he could never, actually he could in the house probably a few times. We're reaching the first 
incline. And when I say the first incline, I mean the only one. Just one big uphill of a good time. <laughs> there she is. I almost got hit by a car literally inches. Luckily, it was a smart car, so I probably would have done more damage to that than it would have done to me. I don't want to do this. <sighs> Okay, and now I shot on the yoga option, but that sounds genuinely known as a pink drink. He's like, no, we don't have whatever the fuck that is. As an icity. As <laughs> <laughs> an icity comedy. You're a little off, but you'll get it. Blood take from the top of the grocery shopping so then you want to like use everything that's where my life's at right now sun-dried tomatoes mushrooms want to eat a little snap pea but i hate the ends i'm sure you saw me biting them off i think they're gross i think the ends of food are so gross like bananas Ugh. oh my god carrots i can get down with if it's like a pointy end i don't fuck with it take that how you want Mask on and do a little editing thing because the face mask is only 20 minutes. And face mask is only 20 minutes. And I normally hate those type of face masks where you can only have them on 
It's this one. Everyone talks about this. My friend Allie suggested it. I'll link her channel down below. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to try it. The Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Facial. Really excited to give it a go. I'm breaking out really bad right here, and I had to break out right here. I posted on Instagram, I was trying out a new highlighter, and it broke me out like no one's business. So my skin's been recovering, and I'm actually gonna go to facial next week. Uh, but yeah, skin's looking good. I'm proud of it. Someone tried to shit talk my video, my video, my skin in a video like a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, girl, if you wanna see me from before, it's like, <laughs> She good, trust me. Update, just tried to use my shower, turn my shower on. By the way, I have the face mask on. Love the packaging, very, very cute. Does not stingle, does not really feel like anything, so uh, I need to go really take it off. Um, but also, I'm really gross, and my shower pressure is like deep, 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 deep. So I'll have to put a work order in, but I really need to get my hair washed, so instead of freaking out and getting upset, I am just going to make an apartment appointment at dry bar on my phone go on the little app make an appointment for tomorrow morning because i film tomorrow so i really need my hair clean and for right now i will just take a bath wash my face roll with the punches mercury out of retrograde in like a week Am I right? are you okay bubba you tell everyone you're not feeling that well yeah, tell everyone you're not feeling very well. See, I woke up this morning and had a <laughs> waterfall come out of my ass. Oh, and then it happened again on our walk. What's wrong? I'm trying to figure out like why he wouldn't be feeling well or like why that would even happen. Turn this fan off for a second because like nothing is new in his diet nothing like that is going on and then if you're like a dog mom or a real mom you're probably like girl i feel this conversation you look at your baby's fecal matter and you're like what's going on what's wrong if you're not you're probably really grossed out i'm sorry if you're grossed out um and Haley's, you know what is a little weird too so i think we're gonna do just some plain pasta for dinner no more treats for a while. No, 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 no. So we're definitely gonna lower the fat in their diet because last time when Haley got sick, that was the issue. There was too much fat in her diet, um, which I guess isn't really good for dogs. So, you yeah, know, and all they've had to eat, my dogs do eat chicken. So I feed them chicken. They have their dry food. They have their treats. And uh, when we were back in Pleasanton, we'd make them pasta and mix it with their chicken. So maybe we'll try that again. I know sweet potato is really good for dogs and like also upset stomachs, but I don't know if my dogs will just eat like plain sweet potato, you know what I mean? So I'll have to mix it in some. I'm not vlogging on the other camera because I need to charge that other one, but now I need to find the charger. And I know I set it aside, but like now that I'm actually in this apartment, that means nothing. Oh, okay. We can find. Oh, the workers are here. Okay. Okay, guys. Magic time. Still on this camera. My other camera is almost done charging, but let's pause this. Um, I went to the grocery store, I got cleaning supplies, so I'm going to clean this apartment up today. I got back from my hair appointment, I had, I did all my emails, and I have, I partially edited a video, need to finish editing it. I had a conference call today, which was really good, really exciting. Currently making some lunch, like honestly, <gasps> look how perfect this avocado is. Three gratitudes in every video, number one gratitude this avocado number two gratitude being able to have the opportunity to go to dry bar god bless thank god like the shower ain't gonna let the shower stress me out ain't gonna let it bring my day down um number three gratitude that brody has only had that accident one time so i put them in the bathroom when i left because i did not want um because like if he had an accident again i wanted him to like not freak out because don't you feel so bad like when a kid has an accident or like a dog has an accident or they throw up they like feel so guilty afterwards maybe your dogs don't feel guilty mine literally look at me like i'm about to send them away um but yeah i have this avocado i just have some salad mix and carrots and then i made some dressing let me get this out where did i put it okay coolio 
Coolio. I have some potatoes roasting in the oven right now. Which is tahini, lemon, tahini, lemon, salt, or something else. Mustard. Maybe I'll do a little olive oil. No, there's avocado. I don't need olive oil. Okay. So now I'm going to put this over the top and then just mix it up with my hands. Um, after I eat this, I'm going to clean, like I said. I was supposed to have a girls' night tonight, but my friend is, like, having a really bad day. And, you know, like, when you're having a bad day and you just, like, can't socialize with anyone? That's how her day's going. And, like, I feel so bad. Like, those days, oh, girl. I'm ready to F shit up on those days. I'm like, try me. Try me clean. I also put in a service request for um, the shower and everything. So, hopefully, um that comes my silverware is supposed to come today somehow my silverware did not get packed like i have no idea where it went so i had to go buy like one of those little packs of like plastic silverware Ooh. um and my silverware is coming today thank goodness yes 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 okay maybe we'll do some meal prepping today too because i went grocery shopping yesterday it was so good i have a microwave in the car i think it's kind of heavy i don't know if i'll be able to get it out myself but we can try. We can try. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. Okay. Let's just continue doing this. You don't care that I'm mixing. Update. Right? We just need to take a moment of appreciation for the salad. Also, fuck this fork. Does not work well. This salad is so good. So it was shredded carrots, just that lettuce blend from Trader Joe's um roasted potatoes and the potatoes i just did for like 30 minutes at 400 chopped up super small uh with nutritional yeast and salt and then the dressing was this okay like fun fact this is the best tahini i've ever used um my other favorite i get off iherb i don't remember what it's called but this is really good too and really affordable so uh yeah this is really good really smooth um I don't know why it's so good, but I really enjoy it. And then I mix some spicy mustard, just like literally a little pea size. And then half a lemon and salt and no pepper, because I need to buy pepper. Brody, are you feeling better, my baba? You want to go out a walk? You want to go outside? Okay, maybe we'll take you outside. <sighs> okay, so... Just ate my lunch. I think I have food in my teeth. Oh, I think they're putting screens on my windows finally. <gasps> Daddies, thank you. 